Hey YouTube, what's up? What's up everybody? Happy Saturday. I hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Okay, I'm going to get a few projects done this weekend. I'm going to be doing some laundry. I've already had my breakfast. I had some bacon and eggs and I had my coffee with caramel. Um, it was almond caramel flavored, almond milk caramel flavored creamer. All right, so I'm doing good so far. Look, we're going to get into a My Jazzy Life reaction. We're just going to do My Jazzy Life. All right. And we're going to be reacting to her two latest videos. All right. So I'm going to give you guys the come in, a chance to come into the room and we will get started. Okay. Hit the thumbs up on your way in. Shit like, bitch, I'm really him. Hold up, look, walking this bitch like, hey, yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like, hey. Bitch, I'm really him. Don't believe me? Come and see me. Got three witches from my genie. Now I'm on your local TV. Y'all on drugs? Did you scream and say she wanna come and see me? When I'm in a local city, I'm like pause though. Please step aside so they can see me and I walk up in this bitch like. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like. Bitch, I'm really him. Oh, God. Walking this bitch like. Okay, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, we're going to start off with I did my part, so it is what it is. Prepping for my twin sixth birthday. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. I'm telling everybody. Everybody. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I didn't do an intro, so I decided to come on here and just properly say welcome to another vlog. So I always start my morning out with taking a shower. This not only wakes me up because like I told y'all, I'm not a morning person. And plus I like to be fresh to death when I go to the gym, even though I take one at nighttime. So I decided to do a um, different course. I think it was- Jasmine, I know you probably don't understand this, but stop telling people you're not a morning person when you have five kids. It makes you look lazy pathetic and uninterested. It doesn't matter if you're a morning person or not. You know, people that don't have real jobs, you don't have to work a traditional nine to five, even if you work 11 to seven. I don't think, is anybody a morning person? I don't know. Look, I don't like getting up early in the morning either, but I do it because I'm responsible and I'm an adult. And the early bird gets the worm, sis. You have to get up and start your day early. You know you have autism. It is National Autism Awareness Month. So you of all people, all right, an uh, autistic mom of five should know better than to go around saying, I'm not a morning person. It does not matter. You have five kids who you need to get up for early in the morning to prep and start your day because we know that you require a routine, which you're not good at sticking with but you should still have a routine in place that starts early in the morning. It's really annoying that you're still saying, this has been what, eight years of saying this? It's the glutes plus. Um, of course, it was really hard, I'm not gonna lie. And then today I focused on upper body. So I did all my upper body. I'm not gonna lie, I've been, like I said in my last video, in my feelings with that bit, but I'm forcing myself to, push through okay um a lot of you guys had y'all's opinions in the comment section i read it all but in reality y'all 
y'all aren't me. You know, some of y'all sit here and be like, oh, he did this to you. He did that to you. Get over it. I am human. Like I said in my previous video, I have a really, really pure heart. And honestly, whoever I do end up with, they are going to be grateful for the love that I give them. Jasmine, I have a question for you. You're saying that you have a pure heart, but where was your pure heart when you were locked with those twins in the room? Huh? Where was your pure heart when you had Kaylin, a seven-year-old? What was she, six or seven at the time? Putting babies in a bathtub and giving them baths. As a matter of fact, what are you going to buy Kaylin for Mother's Day this year? Because I love unconditionally, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to keep pushing y'all. But in reality, I do get sad. That's just life. So... I mean, y'all can have y'all's opinions, but at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to feel how I want to feel. I can't control it. It's just life. But I'm going to go ahead and get this little quick workout in for you guys. All right, let's be clear, Jasmine. You're not getting the workout in for us. I get that on TikTok or whatever other platform you were on that you were able to gain some fitness subscribers, but we're not that crowd over here. We're here for the mommy content and to watch you and your train wreck. So be clear, we're not here because you're a fitness mom. I know you would like to think other than that, but that's not why we're here, sis. Let's get that straight right now, okay? Let's continue, guys. Yeah, you're in a good mood? Did you play with truck? Yeah. I saw you. Did you play with friends? You play with friends? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but I feel like there might be some issues with Legend because Legend is three. He's not two anymore. Legend should be responding. I feel like he should be responding in full sentences, not all the time, not 100% of the time. But he should at least say playing with friends. Yes, I was playing with such and such. Like he should be able to have a conversation instead of just blabbing out, talking. I mean, I don't know if there's any um, people that work with small children or work with young children, work in a daycare or something. Let me know down in the chat. Is there an issue here? Because I just feel like Legend should be talking. He's talking and I can understand what he's saying most of the time, but I just feel like he is behind. I mean, those are my thoughts and opinions, guys. Blanky down, and he was playing with friends when I walked in, and he had cars, so he put the blanket down. I said, "That's the start." Color, come here, wait, come here, come here, come here. What color? Say, blue, blue, blue car. Uh, that one's gray. Red. That was not red. Come on, the one next to mommy's is red. What color is that one? Say red. That is red. Good job. Red, red car. Good job. Mommy's car is white. White? No, that's red. White right here. Look, look white. 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 Good boy. Yeah, you're Oh, no. Uh huh? I'm tired. Jazz pretending as though she teaches her kids. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, mommy. Here you go. Up, up. Oh, watch your head. You ate it already. He's over here asking for popcorn. But he was so impatient this morning. He ate it already. So, uh -huh. no, there's no popcorn. Huh? The car is red. Y'all, I'm so tired. I did upper body today. Got Elmo. I did upper body today. And then I did like, what was it? So it was the Tony. Guys, I know you notice know Jazz's arms are fine. Jazz's arms look way better. Let's take two weeks ago compared to now. Jazz, those arms are getting slimmer. So, good job with that. Oh, God, now he's asking for it. Tony Plus. Honestly, I feel, I feel a lot better today, you guys. Yesterday, he put Blinky down tonight. You're welcome. I, um, y'all had an emotional breakdown yesterday. I just felt like y'all seen it. I mean, I don't like to give y'all fakeness, so y'all gonna get the real life with me, whether it's good, whether I'm having a good day, whether I'm sad. Y'all just gonna get real me. Like, I don't know any other way to give it to y'all. So, um, yesterday I was down. Today I'm a little bit up, but I'm about to. Oh, about to head to the house. Um, I'm so tired. Like, I need to take food out. I've got to take some food out. But I'm going to go home and take food out. I need to kill this water. Yes, what did I tell you about self-awareness? 
Stop saying I'm t- all right. Two things. Stop saying I'm a morning. I'm not a morning person because you have to get up every morning anyway. So why not motivate yourself? Remember how wine glass and chill is trying to be fake positive. I'm going to need you to be fake positive as well. Mm hmm. Stop saying I'm not a morning person because you have to get up in the morning anyway. So you might as well scratch it. Most people. Even people that are successful and they don't necessarily enjoy getting up in the morning, but they know in order to get stuff done and get a head start on your day. See, that's the problem with these lazy moms in this sector. Oh, I'm not a morning person. I don't want to work a nine to five. That's not for me. Nobody cares about what you like. You're an adult. Adulting is mostly doing things that we do not enjoy. If you're doing real life, real adulting, you're a grown, grown person. Most of these things, I'm not interested in doing this. Do you think I want to get up, wash 3,000 loads of laundry, dry the clothes, um, go do a market run? It's to the point where I don't even go in the store and go shopping anymore unless I'm going to like home goods for like a relaxation. I have to order everything online now. And I know a lot of people have been doing that, but you know, sometimes it's a hit and miss when you do that. Sometimes I feel like, okay, maybe I should just order the meats and stuff online and and then pick out the fruits or whatever, because you know, it can be a hit and miss with the fruits and veggies, but that's neither here nor there. Most adulting is not fun. We already know that, but I feel like once you get about late twenties, early thirties, you should already know that. Nobody... We thought we wanted to be grown, but it's nothing fun about being grown. Everything's on you. First, I can fill it up again. I'm trying to beat my goal. It's so hard. We even want to go. But that also, if you don't drink enough water, that will affect like your eating as well. So, fill in the water and head to the house. All right, guys. So, I just went ahead and booked my twins' um, birthday party at the location that it's at. But right now, I'm about to make like a quick little flyer so that I can send it out to everybody. Guys, it's only been six years that the twins have never had a party. Everybody else got a party. And I don't know if you guys know this. She literally announced, there's a reason why the twins haven't had a party. Release that information. That is cute. I think it's cute. Next day, I just want to say this. Y'all know the hardest thing about being a content creator is? The hardest thing about next day. I just love that. That is so cute, y'all. I really like the flyer. I think it's really cute. All right, I'm happy for the twins. I know they're happy and I know they're excited. All right, guys, so I just left the gym. Um, this is the next day. I just want to say this. Y'all know what the hardest thing about being a content creator is? I know a lot of you guys may think like, oh, it's so easy, your job is so easy. It is, but at the same time, you know, it is my job. So. If I schedule, so let me backtrack. So if I make a schedule to film content, certain content on a certain day for a certain channel, which is my second channel, which was today, um, I wasn't gonna vlog today because I was filming content for my second channel. Um, I just get irritated when other people don't take content creators' job serious. They feel like, oh, I have the nine to five. So they feel like everything should fall on the content creator since we work from home. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my son. I am his mama, and I'm always do what I gotta do for my kids, right? But you now my arms are hurting so bad. Look, like I'm just irritated, you know. So I gotta go pick up Aiden. They called his dad to come pick him up. Okay, okay. He called me and was like, "You go get Aiden now." And I was like, "What?" He was like, "You got in trouble. He punches you in your face, whatever." Which is bad, you know. And I'm getting my kid regardless, but. At the same time, I just wish people would take what I do seriously. You know, when I was talking to somebody, like, oh, I'm at work. I said, so am I. Like, I'm recording content. Hold on, Legend, we're, we're driving. I was like, so am I. And he was like, I don't care. Go get him. So that irritates me that people. Okay, don't two know things. To- All right, two things we're going to address, okay? Because this dummy doesn't understand that I could possibly be fired for leaving my job too many times. Dumb, dumb. 
Nothing's going to happen to your YouTube job, your YouTube career as a content creator. If you stop what you're doing, go get Aiden and come back. I understand that might be interrupting your day. So that was the first thing. We'll get back to that. But number two, can you ever in your stupid life, because now you're getting on my nerves, can you leave Legend in daycare and come out to the car and talk instead of every five seconds being interrupted with his nonsense? You're being interrupted with his nonsense every five seconds. I know that he's a toddler. I know that he wants her full attention, guys. I'm well aware of how toddlers work, okay? Oh, and let me get into something else. This is a sidebar. If you don't like people discussing Jazzy's and her nonsense, get off of this page. You need to unsubscribe. Do not put a comment below. It's none of your business what we're over here doing. If you are not a part of this sector and you don't like content um, and you don't like people um, talking about the mommies in a bad way, then bye. Get off the page, dummy. I'm not going to keep addressing these people in the content. Why can't you guys do what the, you do like what the moms do? You're always saying something about bad about the moms. Jazz is doing her best. Jazz, we're not here to talk about that right now. If Jazz does something good, I'm going to acknowledge it. Are you listening? When Jazz steps her game up, then I'll step what are my critique on Jazz up. But until then, I said what I said. So don't come over here with that nonsense. Don't come over here making negative comments because I don't have time for it. Okay? All right, let's get back to it. Sit back and chill. Don't take what I do seriously. They just think, oh, you're you're work from home, so you go do it. But I'm not at home, you know, like I'm currently out. So I'm speeding back to where my speeding back to my house area to go get my son. But like I said, it's not a problem for me to go get him. I just wish some people, I just wish people would take what I do. Jazz, all right, so back to it. So you think that I should leave my nine to five that I got up. Remember, you're not a morning person. Well, when you have a nine to five, literally, then you have to get up. What? I'm going to say 6, 30, 7 o'clock. I got to get up to get to my job by nine. So I have to wake up. I have to prepare my little breakfast or my little lunch or whatever, get my little fruit snacks together, get everything done, do my hair, do my makeup, wash my behind, put clothes on, get myself together to prepare to stay in another location for eight hours. And then I'm on my way home. So I have a full day. I may not get home till 6 or 6.30, depending on the traffic. But you want me to stop what I'm doing after I did all that hour and a half, two hour preparation just to get there so I can be there on time. See, being a content creator, unless you have a commitment as far as like tutoring, um, when she used to have her little classes, something or how like Peach does uh, the 5 a.m. wake up, whatever. You don't have a time schedule. Uh, you can just kind of film the content as you go. You're not really on a tight schedule like a person on a nine to five. So you'll rather fill up Lucy's job and not be able to pay you your 190 every month. Then you're going to be complaining about that. Yes, you should go get him as the content creator because you're on a more flexible schedule. That's how we do things. That's a part of adulting. If you're on a more, whoever the parent is that's on the more, I'm sorry, the more flexible schedule is the one that should be doing the pickups. Sorry about that, guys. Hold on. All right, there we go. Period. Why I have to explain this to a 32-year-old dummy, I don't know. Tomorrow get his hair done, cuts. And then I'm gonna do Ava's hair after Kaylin's game. That way she'll be cute. So I'm gonna keep Ava tomorrow. Like when he drops the kids off, when I mean, we go to Kaylin's game in the morning, I'm gonna keep Ava um, after the game so I can get her dressed and stuff like that, do her hair, get her cute. And then after that, I think he sent me something. After that, um, there'll be the party. They're, Granny is gonna pick up their cake because she's coming that way. So I want to go backwards. That makes sense. So she's gonna pick up their cake, their cakes. Um, so I ordered those. And she's gonna go pick them up on the way this way for the party. Yeah. All I want to say is, y'all. I'm gonna say this and be just how do you say it? Respectful. I don't have problems with people at all, y'all. At all. I do not care. Um, when it comes to my kids, I still I have respect for people. So meaning that. I did their birthday invitation, sent out a flyer. Um, it's like a digital flyer type thing, right? 
and it's fine. Sis don't have to come. I did talk to their dad and said, hey, did you at least try to talk to her and see she'll come? Like, it's really about the kids. Like, that's that. And he was Why does she have to come? I don't get it. Just because she pays for all their last 900 birthday parties doesn't mean she has to come. If she doesn't want to be around you anymore, Jazz, Jazz, you said that you and Hannah were friends. Is something wrong with you? You're not friends with your baby father's baby um, girlfriend or baby mother, for that matter. You can be cool. Most people are not friends with their baby father's girlfriends. They're not friends. They don't have to be uh, like a beef or anything between them. But you're being weird. Are you disappointed because Hannah is not showing up to the party? That I don't get it. I don't understand. It was like she said, I told her she can come. Um, but you know, you've seen in the app because she posted in the app that she's not going. So it is what it is. Look, I I did my job. I sent it out to her. Um, and that's all I can do. So if you don't want to come for the kids, then that's her. Now if she shows up. I'm grateful that she showed up for the kids. But if she doesn't, it is what it is. Life goes on. Um, it is what it is. I, I don't have the energy like to do this. So that's that. But anyways, got their stuff. I got all that situated. I feel like I was able to, I was a little productive, but at the same time, I wanted to get my workout in. Y'all know how it is. So, yeah. About to make the kids some lunch. Um, I know they're hungry and my sister's going to up because we have leftovers still. I'm back out again. So um, I came to H-E-B real quick to grab something for them to eat before they um, go to their dad's. And then also I grabbed each twin two toys. Um, I'll show you what I got them once I get to the house. I got to put them in the bag so that they can have a toy as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm heading back home. My, older, my other kids. Now that I think about it, y'all, I'm not even sure. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Now that I think about it, guys, I'm not even sure if I remember her buying anything for their birthdays like even buying them a present i feel like last year it was just pizza at the house look it's nothing wrong with not having a full-blown out of the house birthday celebration i do in-house birthday celebrations we get a cake we get like i'll get some balloons i'll buy some food or whatever maybe a like a pizza but it's nothing wrong with that but the thing is, you're not even acknowledging your kid's birthday most of the time. Or you buy them them little tiny cakes like they're one-year-old, like a smash cake. Even when a one-year-old has a smash cake, they still have a sheet cake for the other kids so we can all enjoy it together. You never bought them ice cream and cake, had some presents, opened up, had a little party, had some little party blowers, some little party hats, ordered pizza, or had a sleepover for the girls. Nothing. You've never done anything. And that's because you are lazy and you are cheap. All right, let's continue. I should be home from school soon, so I need to hurry up. All right, so I'm going to show you all this pizza that I got. Um, I saw it at HEB. It's a West, West Thin Crust Pizza. Stay in the room. Close door. And it has 20 grams of protein, carbs. Let's see, carbs, 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 carbs. 18 grams of carbs. Like, I got this. It's actually less carbs in this than the cauliflower pizza that we buy um you know what i'm talking about um but yeah i'm gonna show what i basically got them Aiden, let Aiden just choose his he kept going back and forth between this thing and aquaman and i honestly didn't want to get this thing because why is it ten dollars and it don't light up so he chose his star wars thing and i i'm like how does it light up i, I can't right. figure out how to get to light up that's y'all just heard me say she is cheap so you telling me ten dollars is a lot i i didn't know that was expensive not when you're paying $23.50 for rent. If you're paying $23.50 for rent, what the hell is $10? What is that? None, none of these are buttons. He, and he chose Spider-Man. And then I got her, Mara, I think that's how you say her name. And then Jasmine, the princess. So that's their toys. And I'm going to put it in the bags. That's it. 
That's all you got, and you think you did the damn thing. Hold on, y'all. And it kind of matches his Sonic. It's got different colors. You got green, orange, blue, and of course Ava's. Hers actually lights up, so that's her crown. And yeah, there are gifts around there. Everything's ready for tomorrow. All right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I know it's all over the place, um, especially because it ran from yesterday to today. Um, I love you guys, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. All right, guys. Now we're going to move on, and we're going to react to her other video, okay, titled, hold on, let me see. I'm not, I'm not okay. Co-parenting after a breakup isn't easy for me. Okay. Single mom with two BDs and five kids. Okay. Okay. Five by two. All right, y'all. Let me pull this up. If you're just coming into the chat, welcome. And please hit the thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Wait a minute, let me do this. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Okay. All right. Let me pull this up, guys. Okay. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope y'all are starting your day off real productively. Okay. So I just don't know what it is, y'all. I really am not a morning person. I really didn't want to get up this morning. Um, but I got up and here we are. Let's is productively a word. I don't know. It could be productively. I don't know. Get the day started. Here come legend. You want, you want some milk and cereal? Come on. I need to get him situated, you guys, so that I can get the older kids situated. It's so much easier when he's just situated. And done. That way I can also get myself together because... Here we go with the sad love music. She's missing hips, y'all. You get hurt at all. I appreciate your time with you. My whole world is when I'm with you. I don't think it's compatible. It's just not possible. And we all got a selfish baby. Please don't judge me. Please don't. Oh, I think I need to. I just need to go ahead and leave. You know me. Jasmine, 
You haven't been listening to what I've been telling you, right, Jasmine? Did you wash your hands? Why can't you just slit the bag open and pour the popcorn into the bag? the worst morning, you know? Um, I'm at the gym. And I'm trying to finish this. I had to spill some on me. But I be feeling like I'm completely healed sometimes. But I'm really and truly not. Oh, no, Daddy. It's like I'm trying to Daddy. trick my mind and, um, and feeling that complete healing because I don't want to feel everything else. I hold back so much for myself so that I don't get so in my feelings. And I get in my feelings bad, you know? Um, This whole situation is just so fucked up, like, I don't even like talking about it. It's like whenever y'all ask me certain things, like how is co-parenting? I feel like it's complicated. Like not even just co-parenting, just everything. And it's complicated because mommy, hey, Bobby. Huh? Hey, Bobby. Get it. Because a part of me, you know, I'm in that position where you know. It still hurts me, like, certain conversations. I'm not. I know what I find weird about her saying certain conversations. Who are you having these conversations with? Because the last time you told us about, you mentioned hips to us, you said that you had to email hips. So what? conversations, verbal conversations are you even having? Are you calling hips? You say you're co-parenting after a breakup. When and where? Where is this co-parenting taking place? Over email? Because I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't believe that that baby has seen hips since that breakup. Those are my thoughts and opinions. Okay, word on the street is that he doesn't live anywhere near where you live. So when does this co-parenting, him sending you $50 a month, him sending you $100 a month, that's not co-parenting. That's giving you some money. Co-parenting is what you and Philip are doing. Completely healed to where I can be, it can just be about legend. Does that make sense? Like whenever it comes to his dad, I'm not completely healed. I'm so broken still. And um, a part of me sometimes make it about me, you know, even whenever it's like, okay, Jasmine, you got to be strong and let it be just about legend. But I'll make it about myself. And I just be like, man, I just hate you. I hate you with a passion. You know, like I don't want to even see you until I feel like I am complete because I hate you. I, I just, I hate him so fucking much, bro. You know, I, I really and truly hate him. You hate him because he embarrassed the hell out of you here on these YouTube streets, which is the only reputation that you have or will ever have because no one knows you and no one associates with you in real life. You hate him because you thought you had the perfect little family channel and then you realize 
when what everybody else was telling you was 100% facts. So let me go on here and reiterate what I meant by hate. I think it's more so I hate what I went through or what I'm currently going through. What I'm Wait a minute. What was that again? Hold on. Let me hear that. Let me see. What I meant by hate. I think it's more so oh, I yeah. hate what I hate you. I, I just, I hate him so fucking much, bro. You know, I, I really and truly hate him. So let me come on here and reiterate what I meant by hate. I think it's more. Okay, it, that was what I thought it was. Reiterate. Okay, okay. More so, I hate what I went through or what I'm currently going through, what I'm feeling. And it's not so much hate him it's just i hate this situation because i never thought i'd be in this situation now that i'm but why didn't you think you would be in this situation as i stated many times before chris finds a woman he moves in with the woman he never provides anything he never has the place for the woman to move into chris finds a woman he moves in with the woman he impregnates the woman. He leaves the woman. Baby number two, Chris finds a woman. He impregnates the woman. He leaves the woman. Baby number three, Chris finds a woman, impregnates the woman, leaves the woman. Are you not seeing a pattern here? I'm kind of clear-headed. I can kind of just tell y'all really like what I meant, but um, I just never thought I'd be in this situation. So I just don't know how to control my feelings sometimes. And honestly, this is one of those days um, I've been kind of doing good with it lately, but, you know, today was just one of those days that I just, I got really deep into my feelings and I was just like, why? Like, you know, you know how you just sit back and you just think about everything and it's like, why? Like, why would, why, why leave your family? I, it's just so much and it's so much build up that I just have to deal with He left his family because as he stated, several times before jasmine he did not want to have a baby with you why what are you not understanding about that but you forced that baby on him you forced that baby on him so why are you so confused about why this man does not want to be with his family he never asked you for a family now that doesn't mean that he should abandon his responsibilities but the man said child support is a scam he abandoned his other two baby mamas. So what did you think was going to happen with you exactly? Why did you think you were different and special? With on the inside and deal with it, you know, for myself at this point, because I feel like we would not have a conclusion when it comes to this situation. And I'm just going to have to heal. Like whether I get a explanation or not, I just got to heal. I got to do this for me because me feeling like this, it's just, it brings me down. I'm editing the video and that right now I just feel so much hurt just editing this. Uh -huh. I, um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm just sitting here thinking like, like this morning is just bad. Like I said, and I don't want to go into why, you know, of course, why but. <sighs> It could be just my emotions because it's that time of the month. But at the same time, you know, you, you have to really be honest with yourself. Like, are you completely healed? No, I'm not. I feel so much. And, you know, although I uh, take accountability for certain things when it comes to our, that came to our relationship, but it breaks my fucking soul when someone doesn't take accountability for when they fuck up. And they sit here and make it seem like you were always the problem when all you did was provide. Wait a minute. You're not taking accountability right now for not seeing the million red flags that the man presented. You had to go hunt down this man. The man is the hunter, not the woman. You First of all, you already went through all that stuff with Philip with his trash ass. Let's start there. So you didn't learn anything from that. You just took all of that and forgot all about it. Even with all these people telling you step by step, people, even your supporters were telling you stuff about Chris. You missed the 5,000 red flags. 
the previous baby mama breakups, the thing about child support being a scam, him not spending any time with you, a legend, him not courting you, him not dating, him not even pursuing you as a female. He did not come for you, Jazz. You went and looked for him and hit him up in the DMs, let's not forget. So we don't want to hear anything about accountability because right now you're the one not taking accountability for your participation in a relationship that was never for you or about you. You love. I'm not saying I was perfect. I would, I'm far from perfect. I'm far from, um, you know, certain things, but I did a lot. I gave a lot. And I don't care what he says or anyone. I feel like he, he broke me the most. And I'm saying that because I probably like use with Philip. I feel like it was heavier with him because you know what I went through with Philip. You've seen what I went through with friends. You've seen that and you would still say you have such a pure heart. And these people are yeah. people are wrong for breaking your heart. But at the same time, you turn around and do the same exact thing. You're no different. That makes you 10 times worse. I was sleeping with the motherfucking enemy from the get go. I don't know. I'm just in my Hey, guys, let's take a little bit of a trip. Just a quick trip down memory lane. All right, because we what we want to see is how Jazz was acting like, you know, nobody could be better than hips. No one was better than hips, okay? So let's just take a quick trip down memory lane, guys, and see the foolishness that was going on between her and hips, okay? How she was so deeply in love and he was the one and all this and all that, okay? Give me one second. All right. In my man, thank you to my man. 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 So there's somebody trying to mess with my food stamps. So let's talk about that for no reason. And the food stamp office actually asked me to send them like all my information, which I did, on how much I make and what my money goes to. They got mad because they everyone keeps using the fact that I actually, for Chris's birthday, you know, I had a little bit of change and I gave him some money. They act like I gave him a million dollars or something. First of all, first of all, first of all, he's my man. 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 In my man, thank you to 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 my man. People look down on single mothers when they file for child support, but you guys don't understand. Listen, the young, dumb, naive me stood heavy. When I don't believe in child support, I'd never put him on child support. That's beneath me. I have been a single mother. And she claims that, that she's going to take him down to child support. All right, I'm going to fast forward this part. I want to get to the good part. Okay, guys, let's get back. Stick a bug, me and Chris. In my man, thank you to my man. In my man, thank you to my man. In my man, thank you to my man. And they gonna have some steak. The kids requested pizza. I mean, I mean, thank you to my man. In my man, 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 I'm gonna die about that day. Okay, I'm gonna die about that day. I ain't going nowhere. I am on to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, letting those kids use up all his, letting Chris use up all the kids' food stamps, y'all. Let's not forget. Why do you never show all the holidays and special occasions Chris done for you? Wouldn't that be good content? It would be, but sometimes Chris don't want to be on camera. Sometimes lately, I've been kind of just like, you're going to be on camera. 
But as far um, as me showing content, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like I had this thing on mute. This was during the time when Jazz didn't want to expose the truth about Chris, okay? So she did not want us to know that the relationship was falling apart. But unfortunately, because she's the worst liar in the world, we could all see it. We knew, where's Chris? Everybody's asking, where's Chris? Why doesn't he participate in anything anymore? That's because he had already told her by this time. She already knew he was cheating. She had already found the information she needed to back up her thoughts that he was cheating. Because that's how that works. When you think somebody's cheating, I'm going to just say nine times out of ten, they are cheating. Because why would you think they were cheating if they weren't? Why would you just be making this up in your head? Because it's not all in your head. It is the facts. And you know it because he's never around. Remember Chris wasn't coming around for a long period of time? All right, guys. Let's continue. Hey, my man. My Thank you to my man. Hey, my man. Thank you to my man. Hey guys, just wanted to let you guys know that there is a My Jazzy Life playlist. Go ahead and scroll over to the playlist option. Scroll. Okay, guys. Now let's get back to the reaction. If you're just now coming in, please hit the thumbs up, okay? And welcome. All right. Let me share the screen again. Share screen. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, let's get back to it. My feelings and thinking about shit, and I'm just <sighs> just trying to pull myself together, y'all. Like I'm really having a rough morning. And, you know, I don't want to be. I think Jazz is more upset that the fake family persona that she wanted to present here on YouTube, um, her idea of what that she had her little family back together. Jazz desires family. I think most women desire to have, you know, a partner that is helpful. But Chris was not a good partner, Jazz. Let's just face it. He didn't pay all the bills like he was supposed to. You were responsible for most of the bills. That's right there, a red flag. And he had a lot of baggage with not taking care of his kids. I'm sure Chris has back child support due to, to Medusa and those twins. So is he ever going to be financially the man you want him to be? He didn't treat you right. He threw water in your face. He talked down to you. He let the audience know that he did not pursue you, that you're not his type. I mean, what else did he need to do? Did He, he didn't want a baby with you and you forced a baby on him. What else did the man need to do to, to tell you that he doesn't really like you like that, that he's not into you? He's just not that into you. He never was. I was like, I can be called a bitter baby mama. I can be called all this shit. I really have so much resentment right now that y'all can say whatever. Whoever he get with, I don't want them around him. I don't feel like I, I'm not nowhere near comfortable to where I'm not comfortable with everything right now. I'm not even comfortable with even letting him see legend, but I still do. But I'm just not comfortable with certain things because it's like a trigger to me. You know, it's a trigger. Even though, like I said, he still sees him or he still FaceTime him, whatever. But it's stuff like that, but it's still a trigger. All that's a trigger. And I don't want to be so oh, fucked no. up to be like, oh, I'm just going to block you and not let you see him and just be you can only see him on my social media. I'm not going to be like that because that's not fair to him. I have to put like my pride aside and think about him for some time. So I just, I don't know, y'all. I think I probably like, girl, it's been months. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that to myself, bitch. It's been months. It's been a minute. Like, get your shit together. And I'm trying. And so hard, bro. Yeah, I never. Yeah, ooh, ooh. I never, because I went through a heartbreak oh, already. But oh. I didn't think I was gonna have to go through the end to where I have to feel these feelings again. I have to go through the same pain again. You know? 
it, you know, you're trying to get every morning, every day, and take care of your kids, have a smile on your face. Trying to go to the gym. I'm, I'm sitting at the gym in the parking lot right now. You know, because I want to work out. I'm just, it's just like my day just started off so bad. It's like I don't want to be selfish and make everything about me because in reality it's about me and him co-parenting for him, right? But I feel like right now, like some I I can honestly say, like, like damn nigga, you really fucked me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to fucking see you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to do nothing with you. But then a part of it is like that not, stop being delusional. You know you fucking love him. You know you care about him. But I don't know. I feel like today my crown is a little tilted. Y'all see it? It's, it's tilting. Like I don't like to talk about my situation with him because on here because it can sometimes make shit more complicated. And I just don't even want to go there but like right now i'm just i just feel so I, feel heartbroken and I just feel like i'm just not complete right now and i'm trying so hard bro i just need to fix my it's gonna be okay put it down it's your sisters it's gonna be okay, Jazz. You're gonna get through this. Ava, mommy, Ava, Bobby. Yes, it's Ava. Yeah. It's Ava. Cut her Barbie hair. So you're gonna. Why do you have Legend in the car while you're talking about this? If you're on, if you're at the gym in the gym parking lot, I'm assuming because I see some cars back there. Why won't you take him in the daycare and then come out to the car and talk? As I've said to you a couple times before, we don't want to hear him in the background all the time, especially while you're having an emotional conversation like you are now. Why doesn't common sense ever happen with you? I get through this, Jazz. You gonna get through this. You gonna get through this. You a strong motherfucker. You got through so much. You didn't got through everything. You're still going through stuff, and you're still pushing through. But you're gonna get. And also, let's not forget that you weren't as faithful to Chris as you claim to be. Hold on, guys. We're gonna get into it real quick. Let's get into something else that I have here. Jazz was not as faithful as she claimed to be to Chris. All right. As I stated before, we have the receipts here. And we will be sharing them today. If you're just joining us, welcome to get into the receipts on Jazz. A healthy environment for the baby, for you and your the situation with him like like no he's telling you what he gonna do basically and i'll never understand a bitch that would sit and put herself in a position to have a nigga basically not give a fuck about that baby <laughs> Don't have to take care of that baby. Don't he's telling you exactly what he's going to do when you have this baby and you still gonna have this baby and basically a single mom with the nigga living with you in the house. That don't make no goddamn sense. Okay. Cause she's a bitch trying to steal Let me steal my own paper quick. And then just what happened? <clears throat> she said that when I was in Houston with Rod, I met up with another nigga and did. And I sure did. <laughs> what you gonna do? Bitch, you gonna beat my ass, bitch? Rod, no. I told him. Yeah, I met up with him more than once. Rod knows. I told him. What else you gonna do? Like, that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, what's You know, I wear my big, I wear my, my big girl panties every motherfucking day. So if you trying to come for me, Go on ahead, bitch. That's not all, guys. Listen closely to what she's going to talk about next. Listen closely. Use your ears and your eyes. I know where you're going, and I'm ready for you, ho. The fuck, and I did more than one. And I told Rod, he knows what the fuck was up. He knows exactly what went down. Because I'm like, you am not no fake-ass bitch. Meeting up with niggas when I went to the motherfucking corner store. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Does Chris know this? this Did y'all hear that? For y'all, for everybody in the back, we're going to go back a little bit. Because I don't know if you heard that part yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does Chris know this? Does Chris yeah, know this? Ain't go far back. Rod, no, I did. More than once. And I told Rod, he knows what the fuck was up. He knows exactly what went down. Because I'm like, you're not no fake ass bitch. Meet up with niggas when I went to the motherfucking corner store. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does Chris know this? Does Chris know this? Because Rod knows. <laughs> okay. So look, that's it. That's all. Now we're going to get back to the original reaction. But guys, you weren't faithful to Chris, all right? See, Jasmine wants to sit up here and pretend like she was this great, great girlfriend, but she was fooling around on Chris while she was with Chris. When are we going to talk about that, Jasmine? He's gone now. He's not coming back. Spill the tea, all right? We want to know what happened. All right, guys, let's get back to it. You're going to get through it. I know I am. Whoa, whoa. I just have to stay oh. strong. Strong. Come on. Strong foundation. Come on. Uh, I know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how bad. It's hard for me. <laughs> And some of y'all, like, not everybody built the same. Like, y'all know, like, when y'all jazz me, you got a pure heart. Not everybody built the same. It takes a while for me to get pure hatred, you know, to where I won't. We know because you still won't spill the tea on everybody who has embarrassed you and dragged you to the YouTube streets. So we know that is a part, I think, of your mental delays. That is my opinion. If you don't like me claiming that Jasmine has mental delays, I suggest you go see a, a doctor because you obviously have a mental delay. These are facts. These are That's not even an opinion. That's a fact. If you're a normal brain a person whose brain works in their head, you can see that something's clearly not right here. So we're not going to even argue that anymore. Like I said, it is Autism Awareness Month. Shout out all to the, all the autism moms out there. I hope you're doing what you need to do, unlike Jasmine, for your autistic children, any autistic adults in your family. I'm not here to drag autistic people. I am simply stating the facts. Understand the difference. This is not a drag on autistic moms. This is a drag on Jasmine Dupriest Dukes. This is a, a chat. This is a reaction to Jasmine Dupree's Dukes. I'm not necessarily even here to drag her. Not right now, I'm not. But I'm pointing out the wrongs and the rights. If you do not like it, don't bother to comment down. Skip the video and keep it moving. Double back. And so that's... Right now, I'm just... It's just one of them days like that I just wish that my heart wasn't so pure anymore. Are you serious? What is you this know? pure heart bullshit? What is this pure heart bull crap? Where was the pure heart when Chrissy just said you were meeting this guy at the corner store? Where was your pure heart then? Where was your pure heart when you were exposing Chrissy's business all over here about her borrowing money from you through PayPal and through Venmo and through Cash App. Where was the pureness then? Please stop it with this pure heart bull crap. Chris lied to you and pumped your head up. That was a tactic used by a manipulator. Come on now. That was his master manipulation tactic. These men will tell you, oh, you're a great person. You do this and you do that just to get in your pants, dummy, just to have a place to live, dummy, to have warm shelter for the winter, dummy. It makes me feel like there is no such thing as real love. There is no such thing as none of that shit. Like, all of that shit to make believe. And I don't even want to go out and look for it. I don't want to... I feel like nowadays, like, because I'm so old now, I'm not that old, I'm 32, but I feel like men don't... 
value love. And I, you know, I said that I don't want my son to grow up to be like, like that. I want him to be, I want him to value his family. When things get rocky hard, you don't just up and leave. And don't just say, oh, I gave it a try. I tried to fix it by just throwing him. Things weren't just rocky and hard. He had explained to you from the beginning, but you did not pick up on the clues because common sense is not common in your brainless head, Roger. You didn't pick up on it. Everybody was telling you down in the comments. All the reactors were telling you, and I know you listen to reactions. Come on now, take it. Where's your accountability? Like I said, Jasmine, let me let this girl talk. It's here and there. That's not fixing shit. <laughs> I'm gonna teach my son. Whenever things get hard, you don't leave your family. You stand strong and be that man. I'm teaching both my boys that. You stand strong and be that man. You take care of your family. You may be mad at your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, your baby mom. I don't care. You stand strong and you be that man. Because at the same time, you might be going through it. Just know she's going through it too, but she's sticking beside you. You need to stick beside her and be that strong individual for her. I, I'm a firm believer. And I stand on that, bro. I stand on that heavy. I stand on that I'm just having a difficult time today, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't even want to. But I have to. Okay. Yeah, about to go. I have to. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Hey. Wasn't looking for a lover. Nobody understood where I've been. Y'all see how the, the blanket dropped on the ground. She don't even know. Now he picked up a dirty blanket and he rubbing it all on his face. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that's her fault because she didn't know. But what I'm saying is we know damn well Jasmine don't wash that. She don't, you see it, that pile of laundry she had in her laundry basket the other day? She's not washing that blanket every day. She's barely washing her ass every day. All right, y'all, let's speed it up. All right, let's see what's going on here. That treadmill going to mess up your feet. I bet you. I'm telling you, it's not good for your knees and your feet, y'all. Let your doctor tell you, because I was on that treadmill and my doctor was like, get off that treadmill and walk. So I came home, took a shower. I'm not trying to get legend up. Um, I let him take a little quick nap because he fell asleep in the car. But I have to go to the food stamp office. I'm so irritated because they have a system error. I feel like I'm getting a whole bunch of run around at this point. Um, I didn't get them this month, and I'm a little irritated. Like I'm already having a bad day, and I feel like this just added to it. But she was like, I talked to a lady yesterday. I'm home two hours. She spoke with her supervisor, everything. And all of a sudden... She said to wait, and my business has been on my card a couple hours. Didn't get it. So I called up there. One, I need my food. Y'all know what happened already with my groceries and stuff. So I'm already slim to nothing, okay? I'm just, I'm trying to make it, but um, I I'm just a little irritated about that. Like that just yes, maybe if you stop spending all the damn food stamps on pre-workout powders, um, teas, slim teas, and all that kind of stuff, and those damn nasty high-in-sodium, prepared meals that you're buying, 
spend your grocery money more wisely. Okay, spend it wisely buying fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, and things of that nature that you're supposed to eat because you got the workout part. I'm not going to take that away from you. You got the workout part down, but the fresh, the eating is not good. Your eating is still horrible. And that's why your skin is looking like it is. So if you spend more of the grocery money on things that you're supposed to get and try to budget instead of going out and going crazy at Heb, then maybe the food stamps will last you all month. This really frustrated me. So I'm about to go up there. It's just easier when you go up there because the case, yeah, the case worker is already there that handles stuff like that. So I'm going to go up there and see if somebody can help me because this sucks. Like, I did not get them this month. So see if they can move something along, move stuff along quicker or even give me some emergency stamps or something. All right, you guys. So I got that basically situated. Um, it was just, Lord Jesus, it just hasn't, it's just today hasn't been my day. I just feel like I'm just going through a lot today. So um, I actually got to come to the, to, the, to the house, girl. Where am I at? H-E-B and grab some bread for, um, what is it called? Manwich. I'm cooking manwich and fries tonight. So I'm going to grab some bread and then, Mimi. yeah, I think that's Hi. all. I'm so tired. Like I'm all Hi. over the place. Then I got to go back home. What time is it? Oh, oh shit. Aiden has therapy today and then Cameron has basketball practice. So got a lot I have to do today. You gotta keep pushing even when you don't want to. When you're having one of those days, and baby, I'm telling you, I'm having one of those days. Like all right, so Aiden just finished doing therapy. Um, I'm about to make their plates. Um, oh yeah, I want to show y'all this. I got the this tree hut watermelon shade sugar scrub. I got this. I want to try it out, but I've had the coke, not cocoa. What is it called? Coffee of the tree hut, and it smells so good. But um, anything you want to show me your picture? Yeah. He made this during therapy. What is it? It's a bunny. It's a bunny. Yeah. Oh wow, it's really nice. I Those are bunny ears. Okay, mom's about to make y'all plate. Okay. You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires, you get the vibe, you know not a life. You have me down on my knees every minute, it's all inside. I'm in the head, you wanna just miss a different vibe. I try to be all your mom, I'm talking to you to die. Wait a minute. Why is she making toasted bread like that? Like, I just don't understand what the point of that is. What happened to the toaster, number one? I thought you were making a grilled cheese, but I didn't see any cheese in the middle. And then you keep burning the toast every time. Why is the toast looking like chocolate macchiato? Anyway, why is it looking so dark and burnt? That I'm sorry, y'all, but I think toasted sandwiches are gross. That's just my opinion. Nobody has to agree with that. I'm not worried about that. A toasted burger? Is that a burger? I, I don't know what's going on here. You got to and I hope that's not your plate with two burgers on it. And I hope you didn't throw those fries in there because I doubt. If you threw those fries in the air fryer, hold on, y'all. Let me pause it. If you threw those fries in the air fryer without putting any um, aluminum foil down there, I guarantee you her lazy behind did not wash that air fryer out properly after she put that raw chicken with chicken juice and chicken crap all in there. And now the fries are contaminated. I guarantee you. I'll probably say she pried away. I can't do it, y'all. All right, we're heading out. 
All right, so I changed, just put on some slides and then change shirts because you know, I was cooking, I got food on my shirt, so just change shirts, but we're about to head out and go to the field practice. I am glad to see her helping with the girls. This is what Jazz should be doing. This is Jazz's purpose. This will be Jazz with a purpose. All right, people want positive commentary. Here it is. Jazz's purpose in life, I think, was to play ball, honestly. I think that's where she belongs in her life. So even if she didn't make it to play ball overseas, see, now, if Jazz was coming up now, if Jazz was Kaylin's age and she was coming up now, she would, be, she would have been in pro ball. But since she wanted to have babies with Pip Phillip, all right, since she wanted to, you know, go in a different direction, we can't do anything about that. We can't rewind time. But moving forward, Jazz, this will give you purpose in your life. This is what you're good at. This is where your passion lies. It is hard to get a job that matches up with your passion. Jazz, you need to be coaching somewhere. You need to be having a baseball camp for girls, uh, starting a baseball camp, participating in places where girls are playing basketball, because I think you are really good at this. So that's my positive commentary on Jazz, in case you were looking for some. <laughs> I'm the I go so hard just to fuck up my enemies. Don't need revenge, who's the the remedy? Ain't for the top, I'ma do them like Kennedy. Mrs. Japan with their Hennessy, they fallin' nobody, think this is winning least. Ah, ah, like any limits, I came up with simply. Ah, yeah, I don't associate, yo, we can't congregate, focus like number eight. My shit is iffin' it, move out the trauma, my therapist healing it, huh? Know that you feeling it, huh? Stop just to win. She's, you see her dragon legend over there, legend, sit down and be quiet. <laughs> Look at it. She know what she doing. She know what she doing. I will give it to her. And, and it can make Kaylin proud us to see her mom doing something besides cooking, cleaning, not doing laundry, and sitting around moping about Chris. Jazz, live your life with purpose. You're in your 30s. Don't let it fly by, honey. Don't do it. All right? So, yeah, this is what I think Jazz should be doing, in case anybody didn't know. Bubble bath, my kids came home, um, took them quick showers and got in the bed. They had dinner before we left. Um, they could not wait, okay? And I left it out just in case someone wanted some more, but no one wanted more food. So um, I'll probably either get that rest of it. It's like maybe enough for like two. It depends. Um, but I might put it in, I don't know, because I don't feel like, because the bread can get soggy, I'll put it in their lunch. So I don't think I'm going to send it with them tomorrow. I might just give it to Legend for lunch tomorrow. But um, y'all... I oh, a roller coaster every day. Oh, I'm now she knows that I that toasted roller. bread can get soggy. That's what we've been telling you, Jazz. Stop giving them toasted bread for lunch. In fact, what I would suggest you do with the bread is put, if you're going to give them a, first of all, I wouldn't even give my kids hamburgers for lunch. I would give them lunch meat and cheese. That's, it's still going to be warm, but it's nothing you can do about it. You can't, you could put a little frozen pack in there or something, but you know, you can't make it perfect. But I would give them lunch meat like ham or, or roast beef or turkey or something like that. I would give them the cheese. I would put that in one pack. I would use hamburger rolls because they're going to stay softer. I would put them a turkey cheese sandwich with hamburger rolls and put that all in a little Ziploc bag or whatever. Some chips, maybe a pickle or a fruit, some apple slices, something like that. Anyway, anyway, let me let us continue talking. The place I got my emotions, all all of them. Okay, I got all my emotions as far as what I went through today. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did end it feeling a lot better with the kids. And on the way home, we was just <laughs> vibing and listening to music, and it really put me it uplift my spirit. I'm over here sitting, just vibing with the girls. We drove, like, I just drove around and we just kept listening to music. And then on top of that, um, just coaching Kaylin's game, Kaylin's team. Hold on, guys, because I want to see. 
some of the comments underneath this post. Give me a quick second. Okay. Let's see. What did I do with these comments, y'all? Um, hold up. Oh, I made the screen bigger again. Where are the comments at? Come on now. Helping that really put me in an uplifting Hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry about this. I don't know what am I doing wrong. They changed the layout on here, and I can't find anything. So, I'm, like, the way it is. All right, I exit the full screen. I'm going to see live chat replay. What is this? Comments. Where are the comments? All right, there are the comments. All right, I'm gonna read some of this, these comments, guys, since I can't pull the screen up right. All right. All right, guys, sorry about that. All right, let's get into these comments. Girl, let that man be someone else's problem. You are holding him way to, you're holding him to a way higher standard than you should be. He is showing you his true colors. Consider the sign from God to get away from him. God to get away from you so you can flourish. I agree. All right, let's read the next comment. Let's be honest now. He never loved you how much you loved him. Okay, facts. You was convenient for him. You was a stepping stone. Now, she's not writing with intelligence, but we're going to have to bear with it because she's making a good point. Yeah, you have happy memories, but dude was an A1 actor. People tried to tell you. Hell, his own BM tried to tell you. He played a paid actor in your life. Sorry to say, it's just sad that a child was made. But again, these all these are decisions. She didn't say are. She said all decisions you made. Those closest to you tried to tell you. She's talking about your mama. Old saying, hard ass, hard ass will make a soft ass. It's hard head will make a soft ass. Focus on you and your children trying to find, try to find happiness within and stop looking for it through these men. I'm sorry, y'all, that was a little choppy, but you guys get the point. All right, let me see. All right, now this was a good one here. I don't know you and you don't know me, but it appears that he has a pattern of doing this. Didn't he leave someone else to be with you? You have girls and you have to be strong for them. They need to know that they don't deserve to be treated any other way than the best. Let that hatred go so you can heal. Stay strong. All right, that was a good one. Let me see if I can find one more. All right. First, a baby don't keep a guy. We all saw how he treated you and the disgust he had in his eyes for you. Huh? Let's not talk. We didn't even get into that, y'all. I'm sure the other BM felt the same way. Know your worth. All right, guys. Let's do the rest of this couple seconds of this video. All right. spirit too but um i'm about to go pick up the kitchen i say it's 11 15 11 15 so i have to clean up the kitchen and then i'm gonna call it a night so i love you guys i hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you did thumbs up and subscribe and i will see y'all tomorrow all right guys we made it through a whole hour and 15 or more minutes with my jazzy life only thank you for hanging in there with me guys please please Hit the thumbs up on your way out and show your girl some love. And I will see you guys in the next reaction.